Hey guys, it's Amanda, and today's video is going to be a request from the study blur side of Tumblr, and that is a what's in my backpack video. I guess since school is coming up in um, less than two months for a lot of you guys, uh, somebody showed up on my Tumblr, my study blur, which is like a Tumblr all about studying and productivity and etc, etc, and they asked me if I would do a what's in my school backpack video since I guess they know that I go to college part-time and that includes in the summer, so that's what this video is going to be about today. Without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. This is the backpack that I use for school. It is very heavy because I got a bunch of stuff in there. Um, it is a High Sierra backpack from Costco and I have a, just an entirely black one with some white stripes on the front. I like very like simple minimalistic backpacks um, just because, I don't know, I think they look better. Sorry, I'm playing with my hair a lot. There's like, they have a bush sticking out. So this is the backpack that I use. I really like how High Sierra backpacks are constructed. So if you're in the market for a backpack with lots of storage space, lots of pockets and um, suspension up underneath the bottom of the backpack, which just means that there's more support and less weight on your shoulders, then High Sierra is a really good brand to get into. Just a random plug, you know, whatever. This is just from my life experience with backpacks but I'm just gonna go ahead and reach into the backpack it the backpack that I have has four different compartments it's got this main outside compartment and it's gonna be hard for you to see it's got this outside pocket a tiny little media compartment on the top and then the big part so I'm just gonna go um, through this I'm gonna start with the biggest compartment first one of the things I like about this backpack is that there is a sleeve that's built into it for a laptop um, this it's built for a 15 inch laptop and I have a 13 inch MacBook so um, it's a bit big and it kind of rattles around in there a little bit but it's really nice for those of y'all with um, big laptops or if you can like put your laptop inside a sleeve and then inside the thing I do that sometimes I don't know but it's nice to have that separate compartment for notebooks folders tablets laptops you know whatever you want to keep separate from the rest of your stuff because you don't want it to get ruined and you'll see why I use it in a second and the first thing I have in the little um, compartment for my laptop is my laptop <laughs> surprise I have the silver MacBook Pro um, and it's the Retina Display, 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina Display. Um, I don't have one of like the new fancy ones that come in three different colors. I just have my 13-inch MacBook Pro. Um, I bought it myself. I saved up for a long time and got it, so like, don't go thinking I'm spoiled or anything. Um, but yeah, this is the laptop I use. If you're looking for something that's fast and light, I'm going to put it over there because I'm going to be using it later. Go fan fiction. Um, if you're looking for a laptop that is very easy to use, um, and that has a lot of storage space, it's very fast, has a really good resolution on the screen. Um, definitely look into MacBooks. I know that they're, they're pretty pricey, but they're supposed to last a long time, and mine has really helped me. Um, and I like it a lot better than the Windows one that I used to use. So if you're looking for a MacBook, I would recommend getting the Pro, not the Air. The Pro definitely does more. It's supposed to last longer. Um, it's, it's a hard-working, durable, good machine. So there you go. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that if you're in the market for a new laptop, a MacBook Pro specifically, I recommend getting the 13-inch MacBook Pro as opposed to the 15-inch MacBook Pro. Um, the 13-inch is just the right size and weight, in my opinion, to be useful as a school laptop that you can carry around with you in your backpack from class to class and so on. Um, in my opinion, the 15-inch is too big and too bulky to really be useful for carrying around because it'll break your back. So um, that's just my recommendation, but um, in my opinion, the 13-inch screen is perfect. It's the one I have, and I've never had an issue with eye strain or um, the screen being too small for me to make good use of it. So if you ask me, um, get the 13-inch above the 15-inch. The thing I have in the little media pocket, um, the little laptop sleeve, is my planner. I do have a very large planner. This is, what is the brand of this planner? Blue Sky. Um, it's the um, Susie Jack Contemporary Designer Series. Um, and I got this at Target. Um, this planner I love because it goes from July 2015 to June 2016. And this planner has weekly and monthly looks. Um, you've got your monthly calendar at a glance and then a lot of space for everyday use. You can tell I don't use the everyday use a lot, but um, it also has a nice little part in the front where you can put, you know, notes and reminders to yourself. Um, on the inside it also has a spot for um, for contacts, addresses, and whatnot, um, which is really nice for me because I like having a paper contact book just in case I lose my phone, misplace my phone, um, got to get it taken away, whatever. Um, I have 
everything on there. And what I have in my planner is I use my planner and I color code um, all you can see like I color code my appointments, I color code just a whole lot of different things um, for school, for work, appointments, social activities, all of it is color coded and I have a little like key to remind me until I get it memorized. But um, if you want me to do a video about how I color code my planner and how I organize my planner and everything, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to film a video on that because I'm kind of obsessive about organizing and my mom teases me about having a color coded planner. <laughs> but yeah, and then also in the side margin, another thing I like about this planner is that I will go to August. On the side margin of everything, it has like a little spot for notes and what I started doing was writing um, if you can see, it says this month, and I have two book titles. I started a resolution for myself kind of in the beginning of the summer because I'm going into my senior year of high school, and I kind of want to use this time to um, create myself academically into the person that I'm going to be in college. So I'm going to, you know, set habits now in my senior year that are going to carry me on to college. And I'm not just talking about studying and stuff. I'm more like talking about... Um, I want to create a balance in myself that will carry on to college because, you know, I don't want to be one of those college students whose entire life is school and then I go to youth group once a week and I go to church once a week. I want to be able to be a well-rounded person and still have time to write, to read, to do all that stuff, but I need to force myself to, so I started a resolution that every month I'm going to read two to three books and I write the book titles I want to read that month in the margin and whatever ones I don't read I carry on to the next month but the maximum amount I have to read are two or three books. It seems a bit harsh but I have a lot of books on my to read list so it's kind of a nice thing to do to kind of force myself to read them because otherwise I won't. I will spend all my time on Tumblr and that is not healthy even though it's fun. I also keep a water bottle inside of my backpack. Um, I actually carry two with me at all times. I have one inside and one in this outside pocket. The only thing that I dislike about this High Sierra backpack is that my old High Sierra had a water bottle holder here and a water bottle hold holder here, and this one only has one water bottle holder. So um, I carry the other one inside my bag along with my lunch bag, which has nothing in it right now, but this is the lunch bag I have. It's um, the beat brand is BYO and it's really colorful and it is it matches my backpack but it's also bright enough where I won't lose it in the depths. So that's all I have in the big compartment. Um when I go back to school and like I actually have books and stuff to cart around with me, the books will go in there as well. But right now I'm just doing an online class, so there is nothing to carry with me anywhere because all I do is I take this backpack to work. So that's all the essentials I need. In the small media pocket, it's designed for a phone to like, you know, feed your headphones through it and carry your phone back there. But I keep my phone in my back pocket along with my headphones. So in the media pocket, I keep my wallet. I have a very small wallet that I got for Christmas. Um, it's from Kohl's, I think. I don't really know where they got it from. But yeah, it's a, you know, it's a tri or bifold wallet and it's really nice and small, so I just keep it in there. Um, as well as two pens. These are my favorite pens. Speaking of school supplies, these are my favorite pens. They are the Papermate Inkjoy pens, and they look like this, and I am a pen... I don't think I'm a pen connoisseur, but I'm definitely a cheap pen connoisseur, and this is... These pens are cheap. They come in packs of eight for, I think, $2.50 at Target, and as far as the price goes, and the quality of the pen, you can't beat it. These pens are amazing. I would write in my Molesky notebook with these, and I'm really picky about my Molesky notebook. So um, definitely recommend those pens. It's kind of nerdy and lame, but they come in all different colors. Um, I like the clicky pens better than the cap pens because you can lose the cap so easily. So there you go. And I handwrite things a lot, so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> In this middle pocket, this is just kind of no man's land. I have a lot of like useless stuff in here and then some useful stuff. I have a advertisement for a local store. Um, I have a um, postcard and a letter from my P.O. box. I need to read the letter. I haven't actually read the letter yet. Um, but yeah, I also have a pouch. This pouch has my feminine necessities inside of it because when I'm at work or school, uh, mostly work, I, if I want, need to excuse myself to the restroom to, you know, take care of lady things once a month, I don't want to be carting my giant backpack with me so I can just take this out and carry this with me to the bathroom. It's small enough to fit in my apron pocket at work so I can just, you know, excuse myself, take care of things, come back and all is good with the world. Plus, they're not floating around aimlessly in my backpack because that would just be uncomfortable and I don't want to make anybody uncomfy with my choices. I also have an extra set of headphones, which nobody really cares about. Um, an extra phone charger. Um, I have this little emer mini emergency kit, um, which just has a small um, deodorant, some chapstick, and a contact case and little bottle of contact solution slash eye drops. I recently started wearing a contact, a singular contact in my right eye, and so um, because of that, I have to start carrying 
solution with me and a case just in case something were to happen to my contact. I highly doubt anything will, but it's better safe than sorry. So there you go. Um, and then I also have a first aid kit. This is actually a band-aid case. I used to hold a bunch of band-aids from Costco, but my mom and sister insisted on filling it up with um, band-aids and Neosporin and stuff because back when I worked at Subway, um, I got injured and burned and cut all the time um, because nobody around there was very careful and we were always very rushed. So I started carrying a giant first aid kit with me. In the outer pocket, if I can get it open, <laughs> let's see what I have. I have my keys. I always carry my keys with me in the outer pocket because I can get them at easy reach. Um, when I'm just walking, I can swing my backpack off one shoulder, reach over, and grab it. Sorry, they're really loud. Um, and on my keys, I have just my house key, um, entry key number one to our apartment complex, a CVS card, uh, my P.O. box key, and our storage room key. And then I have a bunch of stuff hanging here. I have my mace, which I carry, and I recommend you carry it too, especially if you live in a downtown or urban area. Um, I have a safety whistle slash little like light thing. Um, again, for safety. This is the second key card to get into my building. My building is in the process of like changing out all their um, their scanner, like their um, card scanners. So you can ac have access to the building, so we have two separate fobs. Um, I have my um, car key. This key does not turn on the car; it just lets me in because I can't drive yet. And then I have a button that I got for my birthday, and it says, "Ask me." I don't know if you can see that. It says, "Ask me about my fanfic," and I might um, put that on the front of my backpack. I don't know. I think I'll have to see how loud it is, but yeah, I got this for my birthday. And all of that is on a really long lanyard because I like to be able to put it around my neck while I'm carrying things up to our storage unit. So I put my keys in there. They're obnoxious. Sorry about that. Um, the next thing I have in here is a random coin purse of cash. Awesome. I think I have to go to the bank. Um, let's see. I have... I have a baggie of paper clips. Um, so now, just so you know, inside the backpack, there's like one of those typical little organizer things. Oh, if you can see, there's like one of these, you know, you see these in every backpack, but um, so that's where I'm pulling all this stuff from. So in the bottom of that, I had um, some paper clips. I have two tubes of lip color. I've been looking for these everywhere. I have um, Rimmel's, I think this is Rimmel, yeah, Rimmel London's Moisture Renew Lipstick in Vintage Pink and Revlon's Lip Butter in Candy Apple. So there you go, have a um, USB bracelet that I can't show you because it has a logo of my school on it, but it's really cool. It's like a bracelet, here, let me show, show you, yeah, that, that'll work. It's a bracelet that clips apart um, like so, and like this end is USB, and you can just sort of circle it around, and it works better in theory, but that's really cool. I also have a, I have two shout wipes, um, which are, they're like stain removing wipes. I have um, some post-it notes just because I have another chapstick y'all I am losing chapstick like crazy all the time I misplace my chapsticks I think I have like at least 10 of them floating around my room at some point because I can never collect them all and bring them all into one place I have one at least I have at least one in every pocket of every pair of pants that I wear regularly and at that that's really sad but I, I don't know man like millions of pens bro I got four pens in here I didn't know I had wow okay so lots of pens um, and then I have a little, like, mini memo book for when I need to jot stuff down. I need to put one of these in my purse. Um, but, yeah, I have that. And then I have my second favorite pens. These are the Staedtler, I think that's how you pronounce it, Tri Plus Fine Liners. You see a lot about these on the Study Blur community. They are multicolored pens. They can be used for, the bigger ones can be used for highlighting, but these are, like, so fine you can use them for underlining things. Um, but I mostly use them to color code my planner and take notes in my textbooks. And the thing I like about these, among others, is that it folds into a stand so you can, like, have a stand-up thing um, for your pens. Um, I got these for, I think, $10 on Amazon, but I think the price may have gone up since then. But, yeah, I carry these with me in case I need to write something down in my uh, planner or keep things organized in any way. That's everything that is in my school backpack. I hope this video was enjoyable and I hope that it was helpful. If you have any questions and or any video requests for my new series, please give me a shout on Tumblr 
or a comment or Instagram or you know whatever really the heck you want to do to get in touch with me because that'd be super cool and I like making videos that you guys like to see. So keep an eye on my vlog channel because very soon I will be releasing a video that's sort of like my compilation of my summer activities video that will probably be up by the middle of August because I go back to school on August 31st. Um, but it's my senior year, woohoo! So um, yeah, if you want to check out what I've been up to this summer, check out my vlog channel toward the middle of August. I'll put a link to the vlog channel below so you can subscribe and I will also post videos updating you guys on when it's going to be out. Um, I didn't have enough time or footage to compile large like vlogs that are substantial enough um, on their own to like every event that I've been to. Um, but all together I can make it pretty impressive one. Plus I would like to get permission from my friends that were in the videos to upload this to YouTube because I don't like uploading things without my friends' permission. Also, if you want to follow my summertime escapades, check out my Instagram down below. I have a new username for my personal account, so please make sure to check that out because it's changed. It's now just Amanda.Lean, my first and my last name separated by a period, so if you want to check that out, that's cool. I'd love to follow you guys back, but I'm going to stop rambling because nobody cares, and I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully, it will be soon. I'd like to start filming at least once a week, but... You know, we'll have to see how things flow, but yeah, I love you guys. I hope you're having a great summer, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!